And now the star of the show will come front and center. This crowd already assembled in Vienna, Austria. Elliot Kipchoge. World record holder that set in Berlin a year ago, 201.39. He ran 200.25 in Monza last year in a similar laboratory environment. And today will attempt to become the first ever to break the two hour barrier in the marathon. As you get a look at his pace setters, the captain, Bernard Lagat. The American, now 44 years of age. Josh, does he do it today? I think he does, Paul. I think given what he's accomplished between the race in Monza and until now, and with the shoe tech in these conditions, the stage is certainly set. He's, he has a great opportunity here. You can see the current weather. This really the conditions that they were looking for under 50 degrees at the start. Twenty six point two miles ahead for 15 seconds. Elliot Kipchoge. And in one of the earlier Ten. pieces that Zen. He's always in the moment, very Five. cerebral about his running. And now what are his thoughts as he Toes the line for this sub two hour challenge. <laughs> Underway in Vienna, Austria, and that group of pace setters settles in. And this will be the established setup for each of the pods of pace setters. There's also a car in front of them, Josh. We'll get a good look at it. And you can see at the bottom of their feet, those are actually lasers. Now a good shot of it here. And that car, also a part of the assistance here to get them in a rhythm and in a pace for this sub two hour challenge. And unlike the pacemakers that we see at the major marathons where time is of the essence, these pacemakers don't necessarily have to engage and look at their watch and think about the pace that they're actually running because of the pace vehicle with the lasers there at their feet. That's the prescribed pace. And you see the formation there. You have the athletes in front and then two behind. You'll see them rotate in and out on these laps with Kipchoge there right in the middle. And here he goes. Get out of my way. The sea is parting. And listen to the crowd react. This is amazing to see. As a fan of the sport, this is unreal. This is special. We're witnessing history. You wonder what it must have been like to be witness to Roger Bannister's sub four minute. To witness some of the greatest moments in the history of any sport. Now with 300 meters to run. The clock now at one hour and 59 minutes. And now the biggest smile of the day on the face of Elliot Kipchoge. Looking as smooth as ever. Soaking in the cheers. He has certainly earned it. With the pace setters celebrating in the background. And Kipchoge pointing to the clock. A barrier once thought impossible is now broken. Elliot Kipchoge is the first sub two hour marathoner. What a performance. Greeted by his longtime coach, Pat. Hoisted by his pacemakers, Elio Kipchoge has made the impossible possible.
Broken what many deemed was an unbreakable barrier. He is the first man in history to break the two hour barrier in the marathon. Setters. There's Paul Chalimo in the mix. I believe it'll go down as 159.40.2 if you're keeping track at all. If we come this side, you, you have just made history. You've become the first man to ever run a sub two hour marathon. You've done it. How are you feeling? I am feeling good. Uh, it has taken 65 years for, for a human being to make history in sport. After Roger Panista made history in 1954, it took another 62, 63 years. I tried and I did not get. Uh, now it's 65 years. I have tried. I'm the happiest man to run under two hours in order to inspire ma many people, to tell people that uh, no human is limited. You can do it. I'm expecting more of the athletes in this all of the world to run under two hours after, after, after today. I mean, what incredible words. Inspiration doesn't do it justice. How hard was that run? How were you feeling at the very, the, the most painful part? Actually, I, I can't say, and I can't find, but uh, the first thing is, when I wake up at five, uh, at 4.50, to actually the starting time, that's 8.15, it was my high hardest times, even before the start. The time, actually, it was four hours, but it, it, it was like 30 minutes. So it was the hardest times. But all in all, the race is actually, for, to a fast kilometer is really hard to eat. It is. It needs actually the perseverance, it needs dedication, it needs uh, the, the, the hard to run. Yes. Your pacemakers were fantastic start to finish as well. Absolutely. Remember, the 41 pacemakers are among the best athletes ever in the whole world. From the Matthew Centro, it's the, one, the world cha Olympic champion for 1500, to all the marathoners and everybody, they are the best. I, I can say, uh, uh, I want to say thank you for them. I want to, to appreciate them for accepting to do the job. And, and, and together, it, it is not, uh, I am not telling you to talk with Melissa. We made this trip together in this one. Elliot, to see the reaction that you had, especially from Kenya, with you growing up with a single parent mother, you're a proud member of the Talai clan. What does this mean to Kenya, especially? Uh, it means a lot to Kenya. Uh, I wanted to run under two hours in order to tell Kenyan that everybody can step out of this door and actually think uh, positively to what's required by, by a human being to do and all of them can earn a good life and together you can make a, this world a running wall and after running, making a running wall to uh, this world you can make this world a beautiful wall and a peaceful wall. Uh, it's a genuine joy talking to you. It'd be remiss of me not to mention your wife and your three wonderful children as well, though. <laughs> Actually, my wife and my two children are giving me more support. I'm happy for them to come and witness the history. They will be among those who made the history. I'm happy for them. And just finally, Elliot, what image would you like us to take away from this? I'm, I, I, you genuinely made me cry watching you cross the finish line. What would you like us to remember about this? Uh, Actually, I want to say... Uh, the positivity of sport. Actually, I want to make the sport uh, a clean sport. I want to make sport an interesting sport whereby all the human beings can run, can wake up very early in the morning, to run. And together, when we run this world, we can make this world a beautiful world. We can kick away most of the diseases by just running. It, 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 it will be a beautiful world. It's a privilege talking to you. It was a privilege watching you run. And on behalf of every athletics fan around the world, yes. thank you very much. Thank you, too. Thank you very much. Thank you to the whole world. Thank you to those who watched me through Facebook, those who watched me through YouTube, those who watched uh, me live. And I can say, actually, I am appreciating your time that uh, you sit behind your TVs, behind your mobile phones, behind everything, even following uh, through Twitter and everything, that uh, you have made history together. And uh, together, you can make this world a beautiful world. Thank you very much. Elliot, you were great before. You are now an icon. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you.